We are going to be constructing a cylindrical helix. So we have been given a question to draw a helix for one turn up on a cylinder of 60 millimeter diameter and height of 120 millimeter. We have also been given the pitch of the helix to be 100 millimeter height also. So now I'm going to be using this particular paper as an example. Let's take this to be our cylinder. This is actually the diameter of this particular cylinder in this place and we have been given the diameter to be 60 millimeter so this is the height of the cylinder which is 120 millimeter okay let's say i draw a particular line from this particular place like this to this place this line like this this line from this place to this place is actually our helix this is the helix then the distance from this particular place to this place is the pitch of this particular helix this distance this is the pitch this is the pitch of the helix this place from here to here is the height of the cylinder so let's take it into consideration in into drawing let's draw the helix we have given to draw so we have been given the diameter of the cylinder to be 60 millimeters so i'm going to pick 30 millimeter radius right on my compass 30 millimeter radius then place it at any convenient point on your drawing paper then draw draw a a circle a circle so this particular circle we are going to be dividing it into 12 equal parts for the purpose of this video you can actually divide it into six equal parts or you can actually divide it into eight equal parts but dividing the line into 12 equal parts you have to get more points when drawing your ellipse which will make it easier for you to draw your ellipse so i'll divide this line into 12 equal parts i'm going to draw my straight horizontal line first then draw my vertical line in this manner so i'm going to be dividing it using the set square method i've actually done a video on how to divide a circle into 12 equal parts if you still don't know how to divide the circle into 12 equal parts i'll be dropping the link in the description below so you can check it out and wash it and learn it so now we are done with dividing the circle into 12 equal parts what is next is to label the division points which is very very important so this is 1 2 this is 3 this is 4 10 11 and this is point 12 it is very important for you to label your drawing so now we are going to extend this particular line at the center towards the right hand side in this manner like this now we have been given the height of the cylinder to be 120 millimeter so from this from this particular point here i'm going to draw a straight straight vertical line like this then at this point here i'm going to draw a straight horizontal line then draw a straight horizontal line given the height to be 120 millimeter i'm going to pick 120 millimeter right on my my ruler like this 120 millimeter at that point at which 120 millimeter is reaching i'm going to be drawing a straight a straight line so i'm going to label that point as my point a my point c and this point as point a now we have been given the pitch of the cylinder to be 100 millimeter so i'm going to pick 100 millimeter on my ruler 100 millimeter then draw a straight a straight line like this in this manner like this now we are going to be working we are going to be working with the pitch that is this point a and point b as you can see the helix is only from this particular point here that is this point to the to the pitch the pitch it is not having anything to do with the height so we are going to be working with only point a and point b so now first of all we are going to be dividing this particular box here which is 100 of 100 millimeter length we are going to be dividing it into 12 equal parts so if we are going to have to divide 100 millimeter into 12 equal parts by the time we go through normal division 100 divided by 12 it should be giving us about 8.33 something which is not going to be actually accurate if we are going to be using our ruler to pick the points so we are going to be using the 
method of division of lines for this particular thing i've actually also done a video on division of line i'll be dropping all of them link in the description so if you don't know how to do that you can actually watch it so now i'm going to draw a straight line like this at any angle then pick any convenient radius on my compass then mark 12 points point one I've picked 12 points already. This is actually point 12. So from this point 12 to point B, I'm going to join a straight line from point 12 to point B in this manner like this. So I'm going to be drawing line that is parallel to this particular line to all these points. So parallel line, I'm going to pick my ruler and my cell square like this. Then So now we are done with dividing the line into 12 equal parts like this. Then we are going to label here as point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And this is B or 12. So now we are going to be drawing straight lines upward. That is vertical line upward like this in this manner. From the points at which the this divided line miss this place so we are going to do it like this so now we are going to be projecting horizontal lines from each of these points at, that we have divided like these points at which we drew our line into our circle into 12 equal parts so i'm going to be drawing straight horizontal line to the to my right hand side like this to my right hand side and from each of these points like this then like this we are going to be picking the points of our helix the points of our helix I'm going to start with point 12 this is point 12 and this is also point 12 here so this is one point here using point one here this is point one you pick this point in this manner like this this is another point going to point two this is point two then point two you pick the point here point three then three same thing for four with line four and this four same thing for five you pick for five then for six also then five and seven are on the same line so this is seven you pick here for seven also eight you trace it down to this point and this eight also then you pick your point that is why i said you should label this circle and these points correctly so this is point nine and this is nine also you pick this point this is point ten and this is ten you are going to pick the points here point eleven and eleven pick your point here point 12 and 12 so this is the this is our helical curve if you found value in this video to this point please kindly hit the subscribe button and hit the thumbs up button also so now we are going to be using our french curve to draw our helix our french curve So at this point, we are going to be using dotted lines. Why we are actually using dotted lines is because take a look at this particular cylinder I used as an illustration. At this point, we can see it like this. If the cylinder is like this, we can see this point, but we can't actually see the back, the back. So we are going to be using dotted lines for it. So like this.
don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share with your friends thanks for watching peace